the spirit of Louisiana. It is. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, that that right there is what makes this place so great. He made our day. All right, on a more serious note, let's yes. get right over, though, to Terrebonne Parish. We've got Erica Ferrando back. We had lost you momentarily because You're of the weather earlier. Erica? She's having a hard time hearing us. We are in Lower Du Large, and this is actually where they're under a mandatory evacuation. And the sheriff actually escorted us out here so we could take a look as to why they are under this mandatory evacuation. The water is actually overtopping the levee, and that's putting all of these homes in danger. I'm not sure if you can see right here, but this is where all that water has literally reached the top of the levee. And now if we take a look on the other side, you can kind of see as to where that water is all falling off. Of the levee. So everything south of the Falgo Canal is under a mandatory evacuation. We've seen a lot of people who have been listening to that mandatory evacuation. Uh, when we were on the other side of the canal just a little while ago, we saw people pretty consistently just getting out of this area. So again, the sheriff did escort us out here. He wanted to make sure we could get a look as to why uh, these people are under a mandatory evacuation. It's very windy. So I'm not sure um, if you can see way past this levee right here. Um, Right here, it doesn't look like it's overtopping as much, but if you look, if you look way down there, if you look way down there, you can see where that water is literally flowing. It almost looks like it's a waterfall overtopping that levee. I'm talking to our photographer, Vinny here. Vinny, can you see what I'm talking about over here? I just don't want you walking too much, but you can, you see what I'm talking about right here, where the water's literally flowing over the levee right here. So to clarify, um, there have been some people who have been concerned that the levee actually broke over here. The levee has not broken in any locations. It has just got, the water has just gotten so high that it is overtopping. So there are a lot of people who actually live in this area. The sheriff told us it's probably a couple hundred people who live over here. Now there are some summer homes, but there are also people who live here permanently. Um, and they have for the most part been listening to this mandatory evacuation. So we will show you 